quick disclaimer before this video starts is I kept calling the Scottish Premier League the Scottish Premier League instead of the Scottish Premiership. So I'm sorry I said that multiple times, so I'm sorry for that. And this video is not meant to offend any fans, any fan bases out there, so do not take any offence. It's my opinion, and I know I've not been to every single club to experience the atmospheres. But in my opinion, over the ones I've seen in the Scottish Premier League and the Premier League, here are my opinions. Enjoy the video. I'm on the atmosphere. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Scottish Premier League fans and the Premier League fans in English football. Now this comparison is being made because it's brought to my attention that I've been to a few Scottish games and I've obviously been to a load of Premier League games. So why not make a comparison and talk about the Premier League fans and the Scottish Premier League fans? I mean, I think we should do that. It's been highly requested from the Scottish Premier League fans and it's been highly requested from the Premier League fans and why not bring it into this video and explain to you guys what one's better. Before we do that, if we can smash 150 likes on this video, subscribe to the channel if you're not ready and this is not meant to trigger anyone, so please Please do not take any um, backlash or hate from this, please. Thanks. And I think I should start off talking about the Premier League. Premier League fans tend to be quite boring, if I'm being honest with you. Until you get to like the bigger so-called clubs, like Aston Villa, they're, they're, that's a team, I'd say atmosphere-wise, they're a 10 out of 10, home and away. That's a proper club with a proper atmosphere. Ever since atmosphere is also top-notch, we do have a good home and away following. Now, as much as I hate to say it, Crystal Palace do have a good following in terms of atmosphere too, if I'm being totally honest and neutral here. Now, saying Crystal Palace involves one thing, and that is a group they've got, which no other club really do have. Now, Palace, as much as I hate to talk, about them, they've got a good following behind the goal, the Homestale fans, and they've actually got a proper group to make atmosphere. Other than that, the Premier League doesn't really offer, offer any other club trying to create a sort of some form of group for that. <laughs> But what about Palace's group? They have a group as well as like Celtic, Rangers, and in the Premier League, there's only really Palace. But I don't really want to be talking about Palace, if I'm being honest, so let's just move swiftly onto the group part. Celtic have got a group, Rangers have got a group, and obviously Palace have got a little group in, in obviously the, the behind the goal. But in the home ground as an atmosphere hole, I just don't see anyone beating Rangers and Celtic in the Premier League. Liverpool in the Champions League night, like, maybe it's a different story, maybe it's a bit up there, but I mean, Rangers, Celtic... <sighs> I just can't see it being beaten. Now, one thing we've got to mention is how toxic Scottish fans are compared to English. Now, I've been to three games in Scotland this year, and it's fair to say that every single one involved some sort of conflict with verbal swearing. But when I say verbal swearing, to the extent where it's like, Jesus Christ, this is continuous. Every single second when the player's on the ball, you're just giving him abuse. Don't get me wrong, it happens in the Premier League too. Like, there's so much swearing going, on, going along, but when it comes to the Scottish fans, they have no chill. I've learned that from Aberdeen and I've learned that from Motherwell. When Aberdeen went 2-0 down, it was a toxic place, chairs were being broken. To be fair, I don't even know what half the Scottish people are saying most of the time, to be honest. Yeah, we smack you. I don't, I don't even know. But let's put it this way, from experiencing three Scottish games, I knew that was a bit more extreme than the English swearing, let's put it that way. Now if we talk about limbs, Hearts isn't really in that category, because we're in the home end, we weren't really amongst, well kind of were, but it wasn't really limbs, let's put it that way. I've been to two Rangers games, and Rangers both times, it was carnage. Oh, look at the limbs. Mother versus Aberdeen. Aberdeen, there were people flying down the stairs. He's dinked it, he's done it. Oh my god. Oh, they're running. They're running. I see more Premier League limbs on social media than I do Scottish Premier League limbs, other than the, like the Rangers, Celtic, Aberdeen, maybe odd Motherwell limbs. I think when you talk about limbs and scenes and carnage, Premier League's probably gonna win. However, let me just show you Aberdeen's clip of Rangers when they equalise with 2-2 two -two quickly. To a lot of Brighton games in the Premier League, and obviously um, we have our, we have we have a few games where it's obviously limbs limbs too, but nothing to the extent of that. Aston Villa best limbs in the Premier League. Don't even you can't compare it. Maybe Chelsea at Arsenal that was absolute carnage. I must admit Tottenham at Arsenal carnage and some derbies you get in the Premier League that's also limbs too and I just think when you talk about Premier League limbs it's a, it's a lot more stronger than the Scottish ones so it's so difficult to balance out who has the better fans however overall like this is a difficult situation Rangers, Celtic, Aberdeen and probably Motherwell do carry the whole of the SPFL league 
in terms of atmosphere. However, I've never been to a St. Mary game. I've never really seen, you know, Kilmarnock, St. Johnston, you know, all of them sort of teams. And it's not, and I can't really put a comparison in until I've been to all of them teams. However, I am basing off the teams I've seen already. If this is compared to Scottish limbs versus English limbs, I think it's a different story because I'm only doing the Premier League and the Scottish Premier League too. So if it was all round English, I would probably go with the whole football league atmosphere is better than the SPFL. Because let's face it, it's uncomparable. When you've got teams like Lincoln, you've got Coventry, you've got Ipswich, you've got all of these big teams, Bolton, it's absolute... <laughs> In terms of trying to create an atmosphere, I would have to go with the Scottish Premier League. If you've got to go with like, trying to get an atmosphere going, you've got to go to the Scottish Premier League with the, with the associated groups of the certain clubs where they're trying to get the atmosphere absolutely sorted. And in some, some games, in some, um, some, some teams, they do have the atmosphere sorted. Premier League, there's a lot of libraries, and I'm not gonna lie, Brian's home atmosphere is nothing special. It's not me having a dig at the club, it's generally just not good. Yeah, there's some games where it's absolutely electric, but it, realistically, it's not the best. There's so much room for improvement, and there's just so many clubs in, in the Premier League, like Bournemouth, you've got, you got Leicester, you've got Tottenham, you've got she well, Sheffield United is actually not too bad, I don't think. Southampton, Burnley, West Ham, you know, they're, they're not creating good enough atmospheres like the Premier League, the Scottish Premier League is. What we've also got to know is, the Scottish Premier League, there's minimal teams. Premier League, there's a lot of teams. But tell me what you think in the comment section down below, what you think is the better atmosphere and limbs Everything to do with atmosphere wise, whether it's Scotland, whether it's the Premier League, you tell me because this is what we need to know. And it's a highly requested video which I'm making today. If you've got the proper clubs in the English football like Nottingham Forest, you've got Leeds, all of them clubs back in the day coming back into the Premier League and replacing the bang average atmospheres, then it's a different story and a one sided story where you're, it's uncomparable. But this time around, Premier League atmospheres are tend to get in worse and worse. You've got Man City's atmosphere where it's just never good. Examples of this is if you go to a Celtic, if you go to a Rangers game, you're guaranteed a good atmosphere wherever you go and whoever you play. And if you've got Liverpool, Man City, they're not going to be turning up for games against Brighton, Bournemouth, Watford and all that etc. And this is something which is kind of in comparison to this. So what one's better? I've got to decide right now. If I'm being unbiased, I do generally think the Scottish Premier League atmosphere is better. And this is my reason for it. In Scotland there are a lot more groups to create atmosphere as I've already mentioned. And that's one thing I've got to kind of go with. <laughs> Secondly, the limbs in Scotland, I think, are better. <laughs> There's only a few games in the Premier League where you're actually going up for with atmosphere-wise, and I do think Scottish Premier League fans are better for the atmosphere in general. And something you don't get in the Premier League, which you do get in the Scottish Premier League, is that whatever game you play, whether it's top of the league versus bottom of the league, you're always guaranteed a good atmosphere. In the Premier League, if you're playing Liverpool and you're, Brian, you're playing Brighton, there's no atmosphere whatsoever. So that's my comparison. Scottish Premier League fans, in my opinion, are better. But tell me your thoughts. The link will be down in the description to go over to my Twitter and Instagram to discuss with me what you think is the better atmosphere, Premier League or the Scottish Premier League. You tell me, links will be down in the description to message me. Comment down in the comment section down below. We'll get a discussion in the comment section down below too. So make sure you drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in another video. If you've got any video ideas you want me to do for this year, tell me in the comment section down below. See you guys later, have a good day, goodbye guys.